Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play in Acronox Session 15. When we last left off, we had just defeated Rictus. But instead of escaping from the ship, we are stuck now in this brig with these other folks who... Maybe these are other folks who also defeated Rictus and are now in Stage 2 of this challenge. Let's talk to this guy over here. I'm guarding the emergency pearl button. Dr. Hush Hush, I'm a huge Razor the Fist fan. You recognize me from the comic books, huh? Personally, I don't think the graphic novels did my agreeable personality any justice. Aren't you surprised by my genial nature? While I understand artistic liberties must be taken to make characters more dramatic, did they have to make me so short on looks? Isn't life hard enough for intelligent men? What's an emergency parole button? It's better if I don't tell you. Supervillains have a sick sense of humor. Let's leave it the, that it lets the truth drive you mad. Why are you guarding the emergency parole button? Because Invisalad is going to push it. Ever since he lost the ability to become visible, he's gone off the deep end, downing his own existence and talking like a crazy man. My fear is that he'll sneak up on me and press the button. Hmm. Invisalad. I'm trying to jury-rig a device that can locate his position anywhere in the room using sonar, but having trouble doubling a stick of gum as a frequency transducer medium. Hey, you wouldn't have to happen to have a beveled... Oh, I didn't get to see that. You better leave me alone. If Invisalad sees I'm distracted, he'll creep up and push the button. And if that happens, it's quietest for everyone. Now, you may slyly notice that I am actually recording voiceover after this video as opposed to every other play session where I've done it as I've been playing. Go away. I'm in a bad mood. This is creep food. I've got problems with my glands. My perspiration sacs are bloated with water. It's very unpleasant. Yeah, I uh, didn't notice my mic wasn't plugged in. None of these clowns will save us. What chance do we have? I've been here ten months and not one of them has lifted a finger to help us. Take that little freak head work for his instance, existence. He can read the mind of a guard and find out a security weakness to exploit, except he's too busy commuting with the harmonic... Blah, 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 blah. I missed that. Couldn't Multitude have created dozens of duplicates of himself to overpower the guards when they put you in here? The only hero with a real chance of saving us sits in his cell, drinking all day. No one knows what's wrong with him. It's like El Puno has given up on life. It's sad. I think El Puno is his name. Rictus keeps the booze flowing to make sure he's too sloshed to rescue us. I've been cooped up here for ten months. I've seen him come and go. We've had some characters. There's one guy who had the power to turn into different types of bread. He was a lovely loaf of cinnamon walnut raisin bread when Galactigoat ate him. No, that's bad. <sighs> yeah, I'm actually doing voiceover after the fact this video. Oh yeah, and how can I forget the guy with a head made out of gelatin? He was a real winner. Why couldn't I be locked up in here with the golden strumpet or whammo wooden woman? Class, I gotta get out of here. Let's go talk to somebody else. Maybe we can talk to this strange drunken character who won't get us out. There he is. Surrounded by whiskey. Are you kidding? That force field's impenetrable. Hmm, here's a key code. Don't know the number. Put in all zeros, that's obviously not it. Perhaps that flamboyantly dressed gentleman in the prison chamber can help us. Let's hope so. My dear child, come closer to me. I am harmless. I am but a dancer on the fringe of thought space, darting from notion to idea in the twilight of consciousness. I am also a telepath. My powers are so strong that if we make physical contact, my mind-reading abilities will extend to you. Would you like to try? Forget it. You fried Fabuloid's brain doing that in Power Patrol number three. I'm going to talk to more people first. While true that Fabuloid's mind was completely wiped of all memories by my power, the event was drastically overdramatized in the periodicals. The adverse reaction was a result of mental conditioning he previously suffered at the hands of evil Gigatoon's mind foam. <sighs> Sorry, folks. To read another person's mind is a life-affirming experience, my child. 
It pushes an individuals one step closer to collective harmony. It makes us realize that we are not so different from one another as it seems, and I am well, too slow. You are always welcome. I'm too slow still. Okay. This is just much easier when you're actually reading it as you're doing it. But I'm always behind now when I'm doing the voiceover after the fact. Bow wow. Rough, rough. That's Crapto the Super Hound or something like that. Get away from me. I tried to be inconspicuous. Will you knock it off? If Multitude Zero notices me, he might absorb me again, and I don't want to go back. Stop it, dude. I've managed to survive for two months without getting absorbed. Too late. Yeah, Multitude Guy can uh, split himself into identities. Then he reabsorbs them, but they don't want to be reabsorbed, I guess. What's your power? No offense, but you don't look like you warrant detention in the high security, so... Let me guess, you've got good slags of mystic? Well, it can't be that good if Rictus gave him back to you before putting you in here. <laughs> so what's your power? That's Susan Street. This is way tighter than my going. How about you drop the hero act already? You've gotten us into enough trouble. Beat it, Sly. I'll let you know when I figure out a way out of this dump. Still, I was not happy with me. I am Amnusis, the Supreme Krapton Archivist. My sole purpose in life is to chronicle the lives of the amazing beings who make their home on the planet Krapton. My mind is brimming with thrilling stories, death-defying tales, and fantastic adventures. Would you, what would you like to know about? Brief history of Krapton. And then 197 AC, an unexplored Cinder Spike sent an expeditionary team to a remote area of the universe somewhere near the Wu Qian system. They discovered a crystalline planet operating under bizarre comic book rules. It was the superhero world of Krapton. Sounds a lot like Krypton. The normal inhabitants of, of the planet, tired of being constantly abducted and saved by the superpowered population, moved away. Many supervillains constructed massive starships and sent them out to roam the galaxy in search of victims to bring back to Krapton. That's where we are now. The source of their superpowers is a mystery. Some people believe that abnormal radiation from Krapton's sun is to blame. Others believe that powers were a gift from a godlike being in search of quality and entertainment. Twenty years ago, two enterprising brothers created a line of comic books based on the real-life adventures of the Krapton heroes and villains. Rage of the Fist was the flagship of Krapton's heroes until lagging sales and a general disinterest in superheroes put the publishers out of business for good. These are the twilight years. Most of the major heroes and villains are gone or simply specters of their former selves. Only a handful like Rictus continue to play the game. What else would you like to know about? Let's look at character data sheets. I want to know about some of these people. Let's find about uh, find out about uh, Paco El Puño Estrella. Real name Paco Estrella. Powers when El Puño becomes angry or irritated. He acquires rage might and is capable of punching through large barriers. Two years ago, he lost the ability to fly, the reasons of which are unknown. Hmm. Other aliases, Superman, the Fist. Who else would you like to know about? What about, uh... Who is this guy? Oh, the dog. Power Puppy. He has limited environment vulnerability, the power of flight, and a super enhanced sense of smell. What about uh, head work? Other alias is Mind Shuck. In addition to being a powerful telepath, head work also temporarily extends his powers to anyone he makes physical contact with. His blatant disregard and blah 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 blah. I missed it there. Who is this guy? Invisalad is currently in a state of permanent invisibility, having lost his ability to reappear after being strenuously probed by evil Gigatoon's brainer stick. This session is about to end, or this video, I should say. Susan Street. She is incredibly adept at hiding among blankets. Uh, never mind. If you're here, come back later.